Hey everybody, welcome to Let's Do a Thing, and today we're going to start with a wonderful classic called uh, Twice Fried Potato. Twice Fried? Baked. Twice Baked Potato. I'm going to go get some potatoes out of the yard, dig them up real fast, and we'll come back, alright? Don't, don't tell anybody, they're right here. Just act like I dug them out of the yard. Okay, everybody, so I went out back, I dug up some potatoes. These are some uh, russet potatoes. Um, you want a decent sized one. And I've got some neutral oil right here I'm just gonna coat these bad boys with. Well, while we do this, I've went ahead and set the oven to preheat to about 375, 400 degrees, which we're gonna bake this for eh, 35 to 40 minutes, depending on your oven and if you're using convection or not. We're gonna rub this oil in. Make sure you uh, massage it in because uh, you want the skin to get nice and crisp. Oh yeah, that's a stiffs. This is a neutral flavor of oil, just uh, you don't wanna use something like olive oil because it has a low smoked, uh, smoke point. And uh, you'll know real fast when you put that in the oven for too long. All right. See, oiled up. I'm just gonna slam these in the oven, like I said, 40 minutes, and then uh, we'll check them with the knife and see if they're tender enough. Okay, so our baked potatoes have been in there for about an hour, it took a little bit longer. These are pretty good sized baked potatoes. I've let them cool as well, so they're, they're still hot and they're gonna be difficult to work with, but I, as you can see, I can hold it just fine. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to cut off the tops, just like maybe the top quarter of this. Okay, there we go. So you can see all this nice uh, uh, soft bit exposed here. I'm gonna do that to every single one of them, but for the sake of the show, I'm just gonna show you with one. We're gonna go ahead and hollow out the inside into this bowl where we can mash it. And then we've got butter, sour cream, milk, some chives, bacon, and this is pepper jack cheese. If you don't like pepper jack cheese or you don't want it to be too hot, you can go ahead and put something else in like Monterey Jack or something. something as long as it's not too dry, you should be in good shape. And we're also gonna season it with some salt. So let's go ahead and start digging. Now, this should come out pretty easily. If it's giving you bad resistance, then your potato isn't done. You need to put it back in and continue to cook it. You wanna leave about a quarter of an inch all the way around the outside of this potato. That way you have a nice uh, uh, shell for all this to go back into. And if you've never had a twice baked potato, this is gonna blow your mind. Because you would think that this is pretty simple, but it's not. It changes the whole potato game. I remember back in the day when I used to bet on potatoes, this changed it all. You wanna make sure that you can just start to see the skin on the outside. Um, maybe a little more, yeah. So you can see here, still pretty warm actually, it's steaming, but I've hollowed out most of this and it looks like a little shoe or a boat. This is the potato boat <laughs> going across. The... Anyways, okay, so we got that. I'm gonna hollow out the rest of them and then uh, we'll mix this all up. Okay, so we've got the inside of our potato scooped out. It's still pretty warm, which is good because I'm gonna put some, a half a stick of butter in here and this will melt. And I'm going to go ahead and mix that in with a fork. Just try to start breaking up our potatoes. You could do this with a ricer as well if you have one. Um, I have one, but honestly, this is such a small amount that meh. There we go. Okay, now I've got about a cup of sour cream here. This is gonna loosen everything up. It's gonna act as your cream. We're gonna loosen it up with a little bit more milk as well. But for now, we're gonna go ahead and put in the sour cream, which is gonna bring down the temperature of the potatoes. We've got some milk here. I'm gonna add to start with about a quarter of a cup. We can always add more, but for now, I'm gonna start low. We've got, this is about a package of bacon. This is pretty fatty bacon, so it cooked down to very little. I've got some chives. This is a whole pack of, I think it's about five ounces of chives. And this is about six ounces of shredded pepper jack cheese. We're gonna add this in here. Then we're just gonna mix this together. Oh, let's get a pinch of salt in there as well. Nice hefty pinch of salt. Remember, potatoes are bland. Their number one flavor is bland. 
It's only when you add stuff to them when they become amazing. So let's mix this up. Oh, it smells so good already. I love twice baked potatoes. I just rarely do them. It's more for special occasions for me because it is a, a lot of time to do these. But with fall on the approach, or here technically, I guess, this is just wonderful. I'm also mashing these as I go. That looks pretty good. Now remember to try your food. There's nothing in here that needs to be cooked, so more salt. Fold this together. Okay, so we've got our, our mixture set aside and mixed up. We're gonna go ahead and just scoop it back in. Normally, if I had a big enough uh, piping bag, I would do that, but I do not. So I'm just gonna, oh wait, I'm an idiot. I lied. No, everyone, freeze. I need to put cheese in there. Yeah, gotta put cheese up in there. Oh, yeah, we're putting the cheese up in there. But you need more cheese. <laughs> all right, all right. Okay, so I like to put a layer of cheese in the bottom of this so that when you get to the bottom, pull it out, you get this big string of cheese. I know we already have some in here. That's why I'm using a different type. This is uh, Colby Jack. And I'm just gonna stuff it in the bottom of each one of these. You don't have to do this step, but I like it. It's like a cheese surprise when you get to the bottom. It's a cheese secret. Shh. There we go. And now we'll cover it up with our filling. Make sure to push that in all the holes. We're gonna pile it up really high too. Yeah. Something like that. If we have more at the end, we can pop, top it up a little bit higher. We'll get the bases filled on all of these first to make sure we have plenty. Notice I'm starting with the front and the back first just to make sure there's no air pockets. Can't have no air pockets in twice baked potatoes. That'd be a crying shame. Okay, so we've got these ready to go. I'm gonna put them back in the oven for probably about 20 minutes. They actually don't need that long. Eh, we'll give it 25 just to be safe. Everything's already cooked. We're just making sure the cheese melts and the inside gets nice and hot. The outside will cover up with a nice crusty layer. It's gonna be wonderful. So, into the oven they go. Oh, that smells so good. Oh my God, okay. Okay, so these have been in the oven for about 30 minutes now. This is what they look like. They are beautiful. Oh my God. Now I've got some cashmere chili powder. I know this isn't kicking around in everybody's cabinets. So if you want, you can use smoked paprika or just paprika, anything red. Um, you could top it with a little sour cream, make sure it cools down first and some more chives. However you want. I just like a little simple topping like this. This isn't really hot, it just tastes really good. It's a very floral chili. I'm gonna plate them up. Those are some girthy ones. Let's see if I can get this guy. Come on, play ball. Oh God, no! There we go. I mean, look at these beauties. Get in here, you look at these beauties! Well, I eat this off camera. Don't look over here. <laughs> Real hot. Really hot. Really good. Mm. Oh my God. Holy crap, that's good. That's our episode for today. I really hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you did enjoy it, please subscribe, like this video, share it. Check out our Instagram, Patreon, TikTok. We've got it all. And we're here for you. Until next time. I'm a potato.